All right, welcome to the call today. Uh, this is, um, it's titled 100 Leads in 30 Days. Um, a couple people around here that might have seen something similar to this call. Um, this, this was for a campaign that we ran, uh, as you can see, back in October. Um, and actually, it was only, I think it was 22 total days. Um, we actually did 158 leads. And this agent to told me, Roughly about 5% of these leads are turning into conversations. Uh, so at $1.57, uh, you times that by 20, and you're around $30 per conversation. Uh, on average, there, there's ways to obviously increase the conversion. Um, and of course, you, um, you could get three below 5% as well, but 5% is kind of the average. Right, here's what we're going to cover today. Uh, I'm going to do a real quick about me, uh, just a quick 60 seconds. I'm um, going to show you how um, how to design an online sales funnel that generates leads kind of around the clock. It's always working for you 24-7. Uh, how to automate 95% of your lead generation. How and why you want your prospects to come to you. And how to make more money while working less. All right. Um, my name is Adam Dukes. I'm originally from uh, Michigan, but after 25 years of gray skies and snow in April, I left for Sin City. Uh, I've been out here just a little over eight years now. Uh, I've written 400 plus marketing blog posts that have uh, helped thousands of business owners around the world. Featured in Yahoo Small Business Advisor, Business to Community, Social Media Today, state, uh, Staples Blog, Times Union Newspaper, and uh, a Writer from the New York Times actually linked to one of my blog posts last December. So, so that's kind of my claim to fame as a, a New York Times writer uh, linked to my blog post. Pretty cool. Um, but that's about it. Let me see a question here. No, no, no party in Sin City. Not anymore. Um, I did when I first moved here, though. <laughs> but you, you get kind of, uh, I don't know, you get used to it. After six months of being out here, you kind of very, very, very rarely go to the strip. <laughs> I'm super proud and grateful stay-at-home dadpreneur. I made up that word. Uh, I assume uh, Webster's Dictionary will contact me soon about adding that to the, like, official words. Um, here's kind of a, a little bit blurry screenshot, just kind of some proof. Here's my book uh, that I published in September of 2012. It was ranked number two out of about uh, 39.89, just under 4,000. Uh, it's kind of on reputation management, social media, and other online strategies. Went a little too fast. Okay, if you would like to generate more leads, close more listings, reduce your workload, and attract more clients, I have five words for you. You are in the right place. Uh, what's on the agenda today? I'm going to share some examples. I'm going to show you kind of how you got here. Uh, it's exactly, uh, I'm kind of teaching exactly what I use. Uh, it can be used in the real estate industry. It can be used in really any industry. Um, I'm going to share with you the common issues that I see in the real estate industry. I've talked with a lot of agents over the last six or nine months. Uh, I just see some common issues coming up um, with issue, with problems they're having about uh, lead generation and online marketing. I'm going to talk about manual prospecting versus marketing automation. I'm going to talk about uh, what exactly is marketing automation and why it can take your business to the next level. And then I'm going to show you not only the what, but the how of the four steps you need to start automating your lead generation today. Uh, so how I got started, I've been doing this about four years, but how I got started with this whole automated thing and how I kind of was forced into it, and, uh, our daughter was born 15 months ago, and I really thought, oh, I can juggle this, this will be pretty simple, you know, and obviously lead generation is a big part of my business, it's a big part of any business. Well, when I have to stay at home and watch her, I can't go out to those networking events and 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 meet with clients and that. So I kind of had to, I forced myself to kind of learn how can I do this? How can I automate a lot of this? How can I use the software that's available to everybody and automate my lead generation while I'm raising a 15 month old? Um, so she kind of forced me to be more productive. She kind of forced me to kind of learn this whole Facebook stuff and, and more tie into the software and kind of kind of build a marketing machine so, so it's working for me at all times. Uh, I have ads currently running right now that are working for me while I'm sitting here on this presentation. They're working for me at midnight on a Tuesday. They work for me. They were working for me last Thanksgiving when I was in California uh, visiting my uh, parents. Uh, so it's always working for me. So thanks to um, our daughter, she kind of forced me to uh, kind of really learn this stuff and really dial it in or I wouldn't have a business. So uh, thanks to her, I was kind of um, I figured out a system. I used it with a realtor about 12 months ago. It worked very well, and then I replicated it with other realtors, and then uh, started uh, built a training website on how to um, train realtors on how to do exactly what I'm doing. 
Uh, so how you got here, this is the ad that I just took a screenshot just probably an hour or so ago. I just started this campaign like Tuesday afternoon. I wasn't planning on doing a, a webinar, and I thought, you know what, I really want to do one um, Thursday. Um, so I got started and uh, started running the ads. Uh, as you can see, uh, 47 people registered at $1.80 per registration, um, which is actually excellent. Uh, 47 registers out of 160 clicks. I believe that's around 30%, which is actually pretty good. So as you can see in the ad here, um, how you could generate 100 leads in the next 30 days with shockingly simple Facebook ads. This title right here on the ad matches my landing page or the lead capture page. Uh, it is word for word. You want it to be congruent with, uh, with your ad and with your lead capture page. Keller Williams agent. Facebook allows you to target by employer, so I only target Keller Williams agents. Um, they've just done the best for me over Coldwell Banker, Remax, Century 21. Coldwell Banker, or Keller Williams does very, very well. So I can have a little question mark here, and it catches your attention. Obviously, you're a Keller Williams agent. Only Keller Williams agents are seeing this, so that catches their eye and then I, in this free training. Um, so that is the one of the beautiful things about Facebook is the targeting, and you can really, really laser target um, w with Facebook ads. So I just want to kind of show you an example of exactly what I did and how you got here. Um, okay, uh, this is Terry. Uh, he, uh, I had an ebook that I was advertising in July, August, June, I believe. In the summer, I was doing an ebook. I was paying around three. Uh, four to five dollars, anywhere from three to five dollars a lead. Let's say average of four dollars. Terry downloaded the ebook. He was added into my um, email sequence. He followed up with me. Terry had been spending about eighteen months um, trying to figure out this online marketing, but his expertise is not online marketing. It's real estate, and he just couldn't figure it out. He couldn't put the system together. So he hired me. I think it was in August, the end of August, I think, maybe very beginning of September. And we got his campaign going. It took a couple weeks to kind of build it and tweak it and things like that. And then in October, this is the 158 leads that you saw on the screenshot from uh, the first slide. Um, so we did 158 leads, $242 total at $1.54 per lead. And again, like I said, he says about 5% of these leads are turning into conversations. So that's uh, kind of case study number one. Uh, here's some of the most common issues that I see. Uh, I would say this is probably the most common, is not a consistent follow-up strategy or no follow-up strategy. A lot of agents still use, uh, or are using um, maybe Microsoft Excel or Google Docs to kind of keep track of their leads. And there's just so many tools on the marketplace, so many CRMs, and you can find them for 10 or $15 a month that kind of just manage your leads. Um, and I hear a lot, agents, uh, their biggest issue, uh, or one of their biggest issues is leads falling through the cracks. They follow up with them for a week or two. And then after that week or two, if they're not ready uh, to go look for a home or buy a home, they kind of forget about them. Um, so having a CRM in place, uh, you can f follow up with them. A lot of uh, this time of year, a lot of leads will tell you, "Oh, we're, we're looking in the spring." So you can mark them. Uh, let's say March first. I follow up with them on March first, and I use my CRM like a virtual to-do list. I log in every single day, and I see what leads I need to follow up with. Some are leads from maybe this last week or two weeks, and some are le leads from maybe six months ago. But I can just keep track of that. And, and the more you use the CRM, the more you're going to get out of it, and it will pay for itself. In within a month or two. Uh, no clear marketing strategy in place. Uh, I ask a lot of agents, what are you currently doing? Where are your current clients coming from? They'll list, oh, we're doing postcards, we're knocking on doors, we're doing door hangers. And I say, where do the clients come from? And then I say, uh, they might have been a postcard or it might have been this. They're not sure. that They don't keep track of anything. Uh, so they're not sure what marketing is working. And worse, they're not sure what marketing is not working. So you can stop that marketing or try to improve it. You want to spend your time and your money and your energy into the marketing that's working. Uh, no differentiation. Um, I was talking to an agent in Orlando about a week and a half or two weeks ago. She said there's 11,000 agents in Orlando. I, I could not believe that. That is insane. I think there's 8,000 here in Vegas, uh, which that I thought that was a big number. And then she told me the 11,000. And I asked her, how? why should I hire you over all the other agents in Orlando? You know, She had a couple of good... Uh, a couple points of differentiation, but she wasn't too sure on it, and that's very, very important. You have to state why I should hire you to buy or sell my home, and you need to say it kind of, it should be clear, concise, in a sentence or two, uh, but that's very, very important. Uh, a lot of agents are still cold calling, and I know Keller Williams kind of, uh, 
don't know if they train the agents on how to do that, but and I know people, it's a numbers game, and I know people make millions of dollars in commission doing it. It's just very, very ineffective. I was speaking with an agent from Redondo Beach, uh, I think on Monday of this week, and he says he actually enjoys cold calling, and he says he generates two listings every month. He actually keeps track of it. Uh, he, he does about 400 dials, I think he said, per month, and he gets two listings, which in Redondo Beach, I don't know what the average home value is, but uh, I know it's pricey, uh, so it kind of makes it worth it. But then he told me, I'm getting busy, and I don't have time to cold call anymore. And I said, well, how much time do you spend? And he says he spends two to four hours a day um, on cold calling, and he just doesn't have time for it anymore. So he wants to automate his lead generation. He wants to uh, have his money work for him, have his marketing working for him. And then last, no systems in place. Um, Oh, no, this isn't the last one. I'm sorry. Uh, no systems in place. This is, uh, like I said, kind of having a marketing system or any type of system, a follow-up system in place. Like I said, with some of the software on the market today, your follow-up can be automated. Uh, you can systematize your business. You can systematize your lead generation, and it just makes it more uh, efficient and more effective as well. Uh, so how much time are you spending prospecting each day? This is a question I like to ask. And like I said, that agent a couple days ago said he spends two to four hours a day uh, on cold calling. And, and I think the average is around, I would say, two to three hours per day, either going to networking events, the drive time there, the two, two and a half hours you spend there, then the drive time home. Uh, usually agents try to attend at least one, maybe two a week. Um, and I know a lot of agents do door knocking and kind of that manual prospecting. So I'm kind of curious to how many hours each day you're spending uh, kind of that manual uh, lead generation or prospecting. John's spending not, not enough. Or, okay, two hours. Okay, two hours per day. Yeah, that's 10 hours a week there. That's 40, 40 hours in a month. Okay, about an hour and a half. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I think my average... Um, like I said, I typically hear two to three hours. Um, so I'd say two to three hours is probably average. Three hours, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think that's uh, enough. Not being effective, though. Uh, the manual prospecting, yeah. Um, yeah, and even with manual prospecting, you still got to keep track. Uh, like I said, this agent uh, the other day, he knew how many dials he was making each and every month, and he knew how many listings he was getting on average. You know, so he knew if he wanted, if he needed two listings, he needed to dial for uh, four hundred uh, phone numbers. And then I was speaking with another agent, and she was like, she does the door knocking, and she said out of every 50 door hangers, I think she said, she was getting about three to five con uh, conversations, uh, and maybe one would turn into something. Uh, but she kind of knew her numbers, so it, whether you're doing online marketing or manual prospecting, it's good to know your numbers, uh, so it's kind of predictable. But it is very time-consuming. All right, this is why you want to build a marketing machine. Uh, you control the lead flow. Uh, again, it's predictable. It's scalable. Uh, once you know your numbers, you know how much, uh, if you're using paid advertising, which that's the fastest way, you know how much money you put in, how many leads are coming out, how many leads turn into conversations, how many conversations turn into contracts. Uh, so, you, so when you build a machine, you know your numbers. If you want to increase the business, uh, you kind of increase money into the machine, and you should increase uh, leads, listings, contracts. And then if you want to slow it down, you can obviously do that as well. I have an agent I'm working with. Uh, he lives in a colder climate, uh, but he's not really looking to work too much this winter. Uh, he wants to spend more time with his family during Christmas and the holidays and that. Uh, and he he's kind of slowing down his advertising. And it is a slower time for him, but he, he doesn't really want more business um, because he wants to spend more time with your family or with his family. So you can certainly do that. Like, again, once you have the system in place, uh, you can kind of, you, you control it. Okay, this is a sales funnel. I know it looks um, probably super technical. I'm going to go through it and kind of hopefully simplify it as much as possible. What you need is traffic to your website. Um, and this is all the traffic sources, or this is some of the traffic sources, I should say. Uh, Facebook ads uh, for buyers, uh, Google AdWords you can use, uh, Facebook ads for sellers, organic traffic, this is if you're blogging, uh, any traffic people searching on Google to find your website, and then direct traffic would be people, uh, maybe you hand out a business card at a networking event and they manually type in your URL, um, or if you have a radio commercial or TV or billboard or whatever, they see your uh, your URL and they manually type it in. So that's kind of 
uh, the direct one. Uh, you'll need landing pages. This is where you send um, this traffic needs to go to a landing page. A landing page is kind of a, a single web page with kind of one goal and typically, typically the goal is to capture their uh, contact information. It could be name, email, phone number, price range, what side of town they want to live in, bedrooms, bathrooms. Uh, the more you ask for, the lower you're going to convert. Um, but the more you ask for it, it's also typically a more qualified uh, buyer or seller. Uh, so this is what we like to do is set up a buyer's funnel. So you set up a buyer's landing page. There are a ton of different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you um, four or five examples here in the next couple of slides. Um, and you send the traffic there and people will say uh, that this one's, this specific one was for a very detailed for a personalized MLS uh, name email, phone number, price range, side of town, bedrooms, bathrooms, um, lakefront. I mean, it, it, had, it probably had 18 forms. Um, and obviously, it doesn't convert that well, but it is a much more qualified buyer. So around 2%, let's say, say yes. And this can be all over the map. It really depends uh, on how you're targeting. Typically, average is, I would say, 15 to 20% is average if you're asking for name and email. Uh, again, the more fields you ask for, it's going to lower it considerably. Uh, and, but then once they add their name and their email, they are added into an email autoresponder and it's automated. I recommend having like a 90 day drip campaign. Now that doesn't mean 90 emails, uh, usually 7 to 10 emails would do and then it's spread out over 90 days, 60 days, uh, anywhere from 60 to 90 days is what I recommend. Uh, but you write these emails once and then you... Uh, you nurture them and I know a lot of brokerages offer email templates and I'm not a big fan of those because everybody uses those same templates. They're very boilerplate um, and there's no personality in them. I don't know anything about the agent. It's just kind of maybe tips on selling your home or tips on buying a home or things like that. It is, it is helpful information but I don't know who's sending the emails. So you kind of have to weave your story in within these emails. Um, telling who you are, why you do what you do, how you got started. Um, like I said, weaving it in there. Not every email is all about you, but just kind of weaving in your story, you know, and why they should trust you. And then eventually they'll uh, reach out and call you or email you. Uh, that is the most important part is that follow-up sequence. Um, so that's the little tips for the emails. And then if the people say no, if they don't sign up for whatever you're offering them, let's say you um, free list of uh, get on a free weekly list of homes under 350000 You could be targeting first-time home buyers on Facebook. Uh, uh, I'll show you a campaign here in a little bit uh, about how that's working. And then if the people say no, they are um, their browser, uh, is there's a tracking pixel, and it's uh, retargeting, remarketing. Uh, all the big, uh, big websites use it, like Amazon, eBay. Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, um, Zappos, all those big ones use it. And when you leave their web page, a pixel follows you around the Internet. I'm sure you've probably seen it. It's kind of creepy in a way, uh, but it's very, very effective. Uh, so if they say no, then this tracking pixel follows them around, and hopefully it, eventually they'll say yes and drive them back to this landing page. You never know. Maybe they were busy. The kids were screaming. They were trying to cook dinner. Uh, the phone rang, and they forgot to um, sign up for whatever you're offering them. Now, the seller's tool is similar. It's a little more limited on the seller's um, tool. The popular one is home value tools, or a home value report. Uh, and a lot of agents get very frustrated with this one because I would say out of 10 so-called leads, nine of them, eight or nine of them are probably going to be just curious, uh, so they're not technically leads. Uh, and I would, about 10% are going to be people that are actually interested in selling their home. But you have to remember, once they uh, get their... Um, their CMA, their, their property value, they're entered into your email sequence. And again, you could, this one, I would probably recommend it maybe even going out six months and maybe 10 or 12 emails, maybe an email once a month. Let's see this monthly newsletter uh, or even 12 months. Uh, just keep them on a monthly newsletter uh, and maybe they'll be ready to sell um, down the road. Um, maybe six or 12 months, you know, and if you're weaving your story in that email, they're kind of getting to know you. Maybe they have a friend that's looking to move or buy a home. Um, so maybe they can uh, turn into referrals. So you can't really discredit the whole, oh, what a 10 leads, there's only one person. Uh, there could be the kind of side benefits, and I know you can't really count on that, but uh, that is another um, for the seller tool. 
Uh, again, with retargeting, remarketing, if they say no, same thing here. There's an ad that follows them around, you know, what? Uh, maybe some type of an ad. Hey, what is your home worth? Or, hey, did life get in the way? You forgot to sign up for your free property value. Something along those lines. And, of course, they click and they go back and hopefully they fill it out. Uh, and then they're added into this sequence here. And then this last one here is this is mainly for uh, people that are blogging. I'm a huge, huge fan of blogging, especially for the real estate industry. Uh, it can be very effective. It does take time. Um, and to get it effective, it, it takes probably six months. Um, and I know a lot of real estate agents don't like hearing that, but it is very effective. It's, it works for you all the time. That's the beauty of it. Um, two blog posts to four blog posts a month is what I would recommend. Um, just something. Well, one a month is better than nothing. And again, and then you have links to these buyer and seller's landing pages on your website, and they're added into whatever. But once you get these emails written out, once you get these landing pages set, set up, all of this right here is all automated. It all works for you. When these people respond to your emails, which they will, or maybe reach out and call you, which they will. Now you got a conversation. Now you got a hot lead. Maybe you meet with them for coffee, or if they're a seller, maybe you meet up with them at their home to give them a more accurate um, home value report or the value of their home. Uh, so, okay, here's the four steps to marketing automation. It's exactly what I use. Uh, like I said, I just showed you the Facebook ad campaign, and this is the exact system I use. It's the exact system I use with private clients. It's the exact system I use teach other agents how to use. Uh, number one, you're going to need an email provider. Uh, obviously, there are hundreds of them on the market. I know there's a ton of them for just the real estate industry. Uh, I don't really have an opinion on, uh, on, on which ones are best in the real estate market. Uh, these kind of general ones, I've used GetResponse, I've used AWeber, I've used MailChimp, I've used Constant Contact. Uh, I'm an AWeber user currently. I really like GetResponse. I just started using that about three months ago, and I find it it's so much easier uh, to use than AWeber. Offer excellent customer support. Uh, they have a free 30-day trial. I think they're $15 a month. AWeber is $19 a month. I think Const Constant Contact, I believe, is $25 a month. Infusionsoft is a couple hundred. Uh, MailChimp you could get started with right now. That It is free up to, I think, 1,500 contacts or 2,500 contacts. Uh, so that's a great one to get started. I just find that one to be confusing. For some reason, I cannot grasp that one. Um, so I'm not a big MailChimp fan. Uh, step number two, you're going to need a landing page or a lead capture page. Uh, the soft, there's, again, there's plenty of software on the market for lead page landing pages and lead capture pages. Uh, the, the service I use is lead pages. It's uh, very, very effective, very user friendly. You don't have to have any technical. I mean, you just click on, you just click and add the pictures, uh, the, the text in that. Very, very simple. Uh, they start at $37 a month. Uh, here's some examples uh, in the training site that we have uh, for the landing page templates. Uh, this is a very popular one for closures. I know some agents don't like working with foreclosures. I, I'm telling you, every market we've tested this in, it flat out works. Uh, that was the one we did for the 158 leads a couple uh, a couple slides ago that I showed you in the case study, the 100 leads in 30 days. And what this does is uh, it turns the seller leads come out of this. Uh, general uh, MLS listings, these people will reach out to you. Hey, you know what? We looked at the 10 or the 15 or the 100 foreclosures. Uh, we've been looking at them the last two or three weeks. We don't see anything we like. Do you have anything on the east side of town, a three-bedroom, two-bathroom? Oh, I could set you up with an automated MLS drip campaign, you know, with your price range and that. So it turns into regular uh, buyer leads as well. And then, again, like I said, it also turns into seller leads. Uh, so don't discount the, oh, I, I don't do foreclosures. This works. It's very, very effective. Uh, this landing page right here converts around, I think it's around 22%. Um, I've seen it up to 30, 35, but I would say on average about 22%. Like I said, we're paying about a dollar, about a dollar fifty-two dollars per lead. What's really slick about this uh, lead capture tool is it reads the person's IP address. Obviously, I'm in Las Vegas, so it, it shows the map of Las Vegas. If you're in Dallas, it's going to show the map of Dallas. If you're in Detroit, it'll show the map of Detroit. Um, and also, it's very, very customizable. You can put image of homes here. Actually, I'll go right here. Here's another one. There's an image of a home here in Las Vegas. This is another very effective one. This is what an agent in Michigan is doing. He is targeting first-time home buyers on Facebook. He's targeting 25 to 35-year-old college graduates. I think his pricing is 350 or 400, uh, under 400, somewhere around there. Uh, he might be using the 300. But he's paying. Um, it's a little bit higher cost per lead um, because the targeting is a little more specific. And I think 
he's paying around six dollars per lead right now. Um, him and I have been working together about two, I'd say two and a half to three weeks. He was having all kinds of issues. He finally got it dialed in last weekend and he emailed me on I think Monday morning. He generated seven leads um, this past weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. He wasn't around. He was with his family. He was so excited that he generated these uh, leads automatically while he was spending time with his family in that. Took about, like I said, it took about two weeks to get it dialed in, but um, it's cool to finally see it uh, um, have work now. Uh, let me see, John. I'll just say I have to step out for a minute. All right, John, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be here. Uh, here's another example. Um, you want to do uh, luxury homes? Um, I mean, really, you can do whatever you want here. Free weekly list of, let's say, Las Vegas million-dollar listings. This is obviously a beautiful, nice home in Las Vegas. If, if luxury homes is your market, you can do that. Here's another one. A uh, lady in the training site, she is out of, I think, Denver, uh, somewhere in Colorado. And she focuses, her target market is condos and townhomes. That's all she sells. Uh, so here's another uh, kind of, again, you can customize this, this back page here. Uh, this is just some condos, I believe, in, here in Las Vegas. And then you can also use it as a, if you don't want to do free listings, you can offer a free some type of a free report, what you should know before you hire a real estate agent, uh, what you should know before hiring. I'd probably add the city in here, you know, Las Vegas real estate agent, uh, Dallas real estate agent, San Diego real estate agent. So this is another uh, example of a lead capture page. They enter their email in here, and again, it goes back to that automated thing, that 60 or 90 day email sequence that you pre-wrote out and you told your story, you know, your, your what, you, what you do, uh, why you do it, uh, why they should hire you, why they should trust you. Uh, and things like that. Again, that's all automated. So that's another angle you could go here is uh, why you should hire a real estate agent. Uh, step number three, you need traffic. And right now, Facebook is uh, the cheapest traffic. Very, very effective. The targeting you can do. Pricing uh, costs have risen with Facebook. And I certainly see an increase in cost this time of year uh, with the holidays because now we're competing against the Amazons, the Walmarts, the Best Buys uh, for that news feed space. So I have seen costs go up. But as you can see, I was generating web webinar registrations for around $1.80. And I'm in the B2B space. Uh, B2B is typically more expensive than the B2C. Uh, so Facebook is excellent. You could use like I said, blogging, you could use Google AdWords. Some markets, it's still uh, relatively cheap, the AdWords. Uh, some markets, it's 7 or $8 per click. Um, so it can be uh, expensive. And then step number four, this is somewhat optional, but um, when you're starting to generate uh, this, the, the amount of leads, uh, you really should get a CRM. Like I said, they're... I think they have some for around $15. The one I use is $38 a month, but I think they have a $18 one. I use one called Contextually. It's for small business, but they have a ton of real estate templates um, on the back end. Obviously, I don't use those ones, uh, but very, very effective. I didn't start using a CRM until uh, the beginning of this year. I don't know how I did business without it. Uh, the lead management, I mean, so many leads that they were falling through the cracks, you know, that I forgot about. Uh, it, it's great for follow-up. Uh, managing the leads, you know, with a lot of colleagues. Uh, I reconnected with a guy that's a director of a nonprofit out here uh, that helps uh, veterans get back on their feet. Uh, it's a great nonprofit. Uh, they've been out here about 20, 25 years, and they've helped 12,000 uh, veterans get back on their feet. We're actually meeting for lunch tomorrow, um, and it was kind of, kind of the CRM, you know. I met him. Um, before I had the CRM, we just never, we touch base once every six months, and now I set a reminder, uh, reach out to Steve uh, on a monthly basis. And so we're meeting tomorrow for lunch, and I'm uh, doing 10, I donate 10% of all revenue to that charity. So that's kind of cool, uh, and it just, I, we've just developed a much better friendship um, over these last nine months, because I email him every month, otherwise I'd forget. So uh, it's just a really slick tool, having a CRM. Uh, case study number two, uh, as you can see, this is, uh, I get the notifications in my inbox for, uh, these are these buyer leads requesting for the personalized MLS listings. Uh, again, this is name, email, price range, what side of town, bedrooms, bathrooms. Uh, this is a lot of details. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, I think there's 11 or 12 within a week's time. Um, so this really works, and like I said, these are uh, very, very qualified leads as they're submitting a ton of information. Uh, in 2013, uh, this client sold 30 homes. Uh, we started working together, I think it was beginning beginning to end of January of this year, and um, 
I checked his reports a week ago, and he sold 48 homes. With still, I think he still had almost five weeks left in 2014. Uh, might get to that 50 homes uh, mark, but a lot of it came through Facebook, and a lot of it came through uh, blogging. Uh, a lot of the traffic came through blogging and Facebook. Uh, here's the problem, though. Most agents don't know where to start. Uh, a lot of agents try to do it themselves. They waste a lot of time, money, and energy. Uh, it's simple, but it's not easy. This, this online marketing thing, uh, it can get very, very complicated. And it really comes down to two things. To really simplify online marketing is you need traffic and you need it to convert. Uh, that, that's really the simplified version. That's how Amazon operates. I mean, it works for just like oh, if you go to Walmart. They need people in their store and they need to sell things. It's traffic and conversion. Those are the two most important parts. Uh, but a lot of people confuse it. Or not confuse it, I should say overcomplicate it. That's what you're having issues with, John? Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, 1036. Um, what part? What, what are you having issues with? Oh, getting started? Well, let's set up a call, John. Let's set, let's set up a call. I'd be happy to uh, happy to help out. Like I said, I got a few agents that uh, um, in the training site haven't haven't they were having some issues with ads and that and testing different ads and I'm finding that people are very impatient with the ads. Um, some of them they're not going to work in two or three hours. Some people think that they work instantly. They certainly can, but um, it's kind of needle in a haystack. Uh, once you get it dialed in, they can start producing leads. Uh, Chelsea, I'm lost on how much I need to invest to start. Uh, for um, tra uh, for like if you're using Facebook, um, you could start at like five dollars a day, and you can get results at five dollars a day. The minimum on Facebook is a dollar, but I recommend five dollars a day, and you can absolutely um, get started. Like I said, that campaign I showed a few slides ago, um, at a dollar fifty a lead. Um, you can definitely get started and you will see results. Uh, and I know real estate is a longer sales cycle, so they might not be, these leads might not turn into commission checks for two or three, four months. Um, obviously, Chelsea, you're in the south, so it's not going to slow down as much as maybe John up in the northeast with the winter and that. Oh, you started uh, at $20 a day for a week and didn't get anything. So you did $20 uh, for a week and didn't get anything. Um, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to look at your ads and your landing page and give you kind of some tips um, on how to improve that. $20 a day, you should absolutely be getting uh, results. Uh, but I can help you with that. Uh, and then also digital marketing is constantly changing. Uh, what worked six months ago, it will not be as effective today. What's working today is not going to be as effective in, let's say, March of next year, April of next year. Um, this stuff is always changing, uh, not just Facebook, just all kinds of things. Google's changing things. There's just so many changes, and you really have to keep uh, keep on with, um, with with what's going on, especially Facebook. They make so many changes, and you have to kind of follow their rules, and that is why it's so important to have a, your own website that you control. Um, that's why I'm a huge fan of blogging, building up an email database. That email database is something you own, you control. Facebook could shut you down tomorrow. Um, Google could shut you down if you're using AdWords tomorrow. That's why um, don't build the business in their backyard. Build it on your website. You control, uh, not even your a brokerage website. A domain that you bought and you control. Uh, that's extremely important. But it does take time. All you got was likes, not active leads, Chelsea. Yeah, let me know. Like I said, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to, um, I'll be happy to look at it. Likes are good. Um, I like to advertise to the people that like the page, and you'll get lower cost per lead. Um, so, so likes aren't bad, but of course, yeah, you want leads. Um, so yeah, I can I can take a look at it and see what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, for twenty dollars a day, you should you should definitely um, you should definitely see results. Oh, you don't have a landing page for them to put info in, just the ads. Okay, that's yeah that be tough to get leads. Okay, yeah, I can help you. Like I said, I can help you. Um, if you were doing $20 a day to get likes, uh, it's not wasted money. I can show you how to advertise to those likes, to your fan page, to your little community that you're building, uh, and you'll pay. It'll be cheaper than cold, um, cold traffic, people that don't know you. 
So, yeah, no, I can uh, I can help you with that. Yeah, so it's, it's constantly changing. Everything's constantly changing, um, and you, you really have to keep, keep on top of it. Uh, so you have two choices. You can do it yourself. Uh, I honestly laid out the four steps. That's all you need to do. And some people say, why? My mom is one of the people. She said, why would you show people how to do it? And a lot of marketers say, show the what, sell the how. And um, that's just something that, that's one of my points of differentiation, that unique selling proposition, is I show the how, too. Uh, and I've just found over four years of doing this, is showing the how, it pays off. Um, just kind of have that abundance mentality. There's going to be people that need help, and even if they have the how. Um, so I showed you the exact four steps. You can certainly do it yourself. Um, you, pop, you could run into issues. Chelsea's having some issues, but she, she might have been missing a piece of that landing page, or not having the landing page, so that could be it. Or uh, I can help you. I can teach you how to do it. Um, and so there's a, I have a training website called Elite Agent Inner Circle. Uh, John is a member here. Uh, he's, he's on the call today. Hopefully you're picking up some tips. John, I know you probably saw this very similar call, uh, but hopefully you're picking up some tips. But uh, like I said, we are looking for success stories. Um, I am very, very hands-on with uh, just about every member. Uh, I am having issues. The issue I'm having is with members not kind of taking the action. But the ones that are taking the action, you know, uh, I've been on the phone with John a lot, emailed him a lot. Um, I've had a lot of fun with it, um, actually. Let's see, another question. Never hurts to listen again. Uh, good to hear, John. Good to hear. Okay, so what's included? When you join today, you get the exclusive members-only access. Uh, the FB Fast Funnel is kind of the kind of those landing pages, the lead capture pages that I that I just showed you. The six or seven examples. Um, you can customize them any way you want. You can launch as many lead capture systems. It's unlimited. I'm trying to constantly update and give new templates out in the in the training. Uh, and like I said, it's completely customizable. You can do it, uh, whatever you want with it. Email follow-up sequence messages. Uh, like I said, this is like the most important part. Uh, I kind of, I know I kind of bash the templates, and these are kind of templates. Uh, but I want you to kind of put your story into it. Tell tell who you are, what you do, why you do what you do, why they should hire you. Uh, get step by step training videos on how to do all everything, how to set up the, the funnel. Actually, the funnel is set up for you. Uh, I just have some training videos on how to. Uh, customize it. Uh, put your name and contact information. Simple stuff. Have step-by-step -step videos on setting up Facebook ads, some videos on how to increase um, those leads into commission checks. Networking and relationship building. There's a Facebook group. I know some people are on the call are already in the Facebook group. Uh, it's relatively new. I think there's 35 or 40 people, but I'm really hoping to create a community of people helping people. I, there's agents in there with 25 plus years of experience. And then there's probably six or seven agents that join this week that have a month experience. You know, So I'd love for these agents, to, the, the vets, the seasoned vets, to help these, uh, these, these younger agents out you know, with the real estate side of the business. I can't really help with the real estate side of the business. But the marketing part, I can help with that. So that's, that's the, that's the um, purpose of the, and that's the, my mission, I guess I could call it, for that Facebook community. I'm looking um, to get that really, really active uh, with discussions. Uh, also, industry expert advice. I uh, reach out and interview uh, top producing agents from around the country, um, typically the ones that are doing very, very well, you know, and have, I guess they have any amount of experience. As long as maybe they have a system in place, I like to interview them and kind of uh, ask them what they what they do, their um, um, how they how they got started in the business, what their favorite form of lead generation, and just kind of help out. Um, I interviewed a lady a couple months back. She's also an uh, I think she's a best selling author on Amazon, and she had a book coming out. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, also, monthly training calls. Uh, we have one this coming, or next Tuesday, I should call it. Uh, I'm actually looking to, to do bi-weekly training calls uh, because the members are asking for uh, more training on specific areas. Uh, my concern when I started the monthly training calls was I wouldn't have enough to uh, a content. Eventually, I'd run out of ideas. But now I'm getting feedback from the members, and they're saying, hey, I'd really like you to cover this, this, and that. So I'd really like you to cover this, this, and that. So uh, it'll probably be bi-weekly calls after the first of the year. Um, next week's call is about selling homes faster on Facebook. Uh, I've got a system that just it, it produces results um, very, very quickly. Uh, so here's what this program, here's what this training site will do. It will accelerate your results by leveraging my experience, my mistakes. Uh, four years, I'm, I'm not uh, ashamed to admit I've made a lot of mistakes over the years, uh, learned what works, and uh, learned what doesn't work. Uh, it'll save you time and money and prevent costly mistakes. 
it'll ensure that your kind of your your sales funnels, your marketing systems are set up properly for high profitability. Like I said, once you get it all, once you get the the emails and the landing pages and all that set up, and then it just comes to kind of just managing your your ads, your Facebook ads, and just keeping an eye on them. And I have a spreadsheet in the training center to keep an eye uh, on your daily ad cost. And you can you end up you start to see trends. You'll you'll see days that don't work well for you, and it's obviously different in every market. So you won't run day, uh, ads on a Thursday, let's say. Um, my ads do very very well on Sunday night. So what do I do Sunday around three o'clock? I turn up the ads. Uh, I spend more money on Sunday nights because they convert very well. Um, and then at night, typically for real estate agents, night convert a lot better. You know, people are home from work and things like that. And the weekends tend to do better as well. Uh, Saturdays, Saturdays are hit and miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But when you keep track, you'll see these trends. Uh, and then you can kind of optimize your ads. You spend more money on this day than you do on that day and things like that. Uh, it'll help you generate more leads, listings, and freedoms. That's kind of the, the three goals is to is to help you automate it, get you some time back, but but automate your lead generation, obviously get more listings, and you get more free time. So you automate your marketing, and you can spend more time closing deals, or relax on the beach, maybe not this type of year, time of year, or it's, it's up to you, it's your call. Um, some people are looking to only sell an extra home or two a month. Some people are looking to sell 15 or 20 and build like a big team. So uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You, you automate it, you, you, you build a system, and you know how much, again, back like I said before, how much money you put in and you know how much money you're getting out. I consistently do 200% return on investment every single month from Facebook ads. Uh, it took me a long time to get there, <laughs> to be honest. And I wanted to throw in the towel many times, but I finally got it dialed in. Um, and, and it just works for me. So like I said, it's always working for me. Uh, so this is kind of the quick overview. The FB Fast Funnel is kind of the, the flagship, uh, the lead capture system, uh, unlimited uh, pages that you want to create. Step-by-step uh, -step training videos. Again, I, I kind of walk you through on how to, how to set everything up, a bunch of Facebook training videos. Networking and relationship building in the Facebook community that, that we started. Industry expert advice. Like I said, I try to interview top agents and then also marketing professionals as well to ask them you know, what, what, um, what they would recommend um, for real estate agents. Uh, the sell more home system, that's what I was talking about. We're having the training uh, next Tuesday morning on that. Um, it's just a really, really slick uh, kind of using Facebook ads for driving very, very, very cheap targeted local traffic to listings. Uh, and then, like I said, monthly training calls, which will be turned into biweekly calls uh, after after probably the first of the year. The holidays are uh, right around the corner, so I wanted to get a training call this coming Tuesday, and then we'll probably pick up uh, after the first of the year. Uh, so some bonuses, you get a lead magnet, it's a 14 page ebook, it's already in the training site, it comes with a lead capture page, I showed you kind of an example, it's completely customizable, uh, you can get that up and running, all you have to do for the lead magnet is add your name, your contact information, maybe a little bio at the end, um, you also get a high definition video, video uh, is very, very, uh, it, very effective, uh, it increases conversions, um, and then also again, access to that private uh, Facebook community where you can Network with other real estate professionals, and I'm uh, I'm also extremely active in there. Like I said, it's 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 newer, but so today only. If you want to sign up today, let's say by midnight, um, I will help out uh, with three landing page critiques. You might not create three, uh, but I'll be happy to if you create a new one in a month or so uh, to kind of critique and go over it and make sure everything's set up right. Uh, I know a few agents uh, they they started uh, putting out they started kind of veering off of kind of what I was taught and they kind of did their own thing with the landing page with a few of them and kind of got them dialed back in you know and now they're starting to, starting to work uh, so I'll give you three three landing page critiques also a Facebook ad critique uh, I supply all the Facebook um, ads the, the the written word the text all you have to do is copy and paste it into the Facebook ads but from what I found I, I see a lot of agents want to word it themselves uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. Um, and it, the wording is very important. The picture, the image of the Facebook ad is probably the most important, but how you word it is very, very important as well. And I can help you word it uh, where it's benefit-driven. It's not talking about um, you. It's talking about the user. Uh, and then 
all people who sign up today, ask me anything, a free 30-minute kind of marketing strategy session. Uh, we can schedule a phone call, and you can kind of ask me anything you want on how to market your business. I had a call with an agent in Florida last night, uh, or yesterday afternoon, I should say. It was night for him. Uh, we ended up talking for an hour and a half. We kind of went over the 30-minute thing, but uh, kind of went off on a little sidetrack. But I really helped him. Um, kind of market his business, or set up a marketing plan for him going into 2015. He's only been an agent, I think he said, two or three months. He just got started. Um, isn't too familiar with this online marketing thing, and, and kind of laid out a plan for the next uh, six, 12 months for him. Uh, and then also a website audit. This is something I really enjoy doing. If you have your own website, if you have a brokerage run, this probably isn't going to do uh, much good, because I know you're very, very limited on what you can do. Uh, I just did one for an agent uh, in Southern California the other day. Uh, he had his own website. It was very very nice looking website and I just did like a I think it was like a 10 or 12 minute tutorial video and probably I'd say I went over the 12 points 15 or 18 different tips on what he could improve on his website uh, to increase those the website visitors into incoming calls and this is not some like hidden sales thing I don't do web design or anything I'll give you ideas and you can Hire, or you can talk to your web designer. So there's no ulterior motive. I actually really enjoy those website audits, and they can be very helpful. Okay, so take out a piece of paper. I like doing this little exercise, and just uh, write down your average commission. And I, I stress average because I know that commissions can be all over the board, uh, 3500 whatever the average commission is. Just write that number down, and then double it. So that is the goal of this membership site, is to generate two uh, closings uh, each additional month. I'm not promising you 47 like I see some of the real estate marketing people. I won't mention any names. I'm not promising you um, send out 15 direct mail pieces and you'll get 13 listings. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing or promising anything that. I'm not even promising the two listings. That is the goal of the, uh, or not two listings, two additional closed transactions. Uh, that is the goal of the membership site is two additional. Uh, and then, like I said, once you get your numbers, you can scale it to the moon. So I was reading a question there. So, so that's the goal, two extra uh, commission checks each and every month. Uh, now, I can't say that will happen in January. As you know, the sales cycle is longer, but that, that's the goal. And to save you time as well, to get rid of that, or to kind of get away from that manual prospecting as much as possible, and to automate it. Also, this is another unique selling proposition of mine. Like I said, I'm very, very big on agents being different in the marketplace, being unique. And while I can't, I have to practice what I preach. So if I sit here and tell you that you have to be different, there's 11,000 agents in Orlando, or there's 8,000 in Vegas, or there's 2,500 in your marketplace, you have to be different. Well, I can't sit there and say that and not be different myself. So this is one of the unique selling, this is probably the main unique selling proposition I offer, is a 30-day, 200% money back guarantee. If you're not automating your lead generation and you follow kind of what I showed you in the training, I'll refund um, all your money back that you initially invested, and I'll double it. Um, it hasn't happened yet, um, but I'm confident it won't happen. I shouldn't say that. I know it'll probably happen. There'll be a couple bad apples, um, and some people, my marketing colleagues think I'm crazy and that I'm nuts that I would do this on a training, uh, on a training like this. A, a digital product's a little bit different, but a training like this, they think I'm crazy to offer it. And yeah, there'll be that one percent of the bad apples, but I really don't. There's no point in kind of punishing the good, hardworking agents, the people that I want to work with and the people that I want to help. Uh, so I'm willing, I'm willing to take that risk uh, and pay you money if you're not happy with it. Uh, so today's special offer, uh, you can test, you, you, you kind of get two trials. You, you can test it for a dollar for seven days, um, and you'll get uh, access to the FB Fast Funnel in the first seven days. You should be able to set everything up, uh, I would say, within three days. I, I don't want to... Uh, make a promise. Uh, some agents have set it up within 24 hours. It depends on your experience with online marketing, but I think within three days you should have everything set up. And by that seventh day, my goal is, obviously, to have you started already generating leads within the first seven days. So that $37 a month is a no-brainer. Uh, so you can go to socialsynergy.com. I don't have it in my phone. I will put it in the chat window. And that won't work. There we go. Um, so you can put it, um, click on that, 
uh, the special offer. It's the same price on the website, but these the bonuses that I'm offering: the website critique, the uh, the website audit, the Facebook critique, the ad critique, the landing page critique, and then the 30-minute strategy session to kind of talk about your business uh, and, and, and your goals, what you want to accomplish. Uh, so this is Pat. He's an agent in Connecticut. This was from about what about five weeks ago, end of October. He, this Pat took action like immediately. He did have a little bit of experience with kind of online marketing. He generated 11 leads in 24 hours. Adam, here are my results from less than 24 hours in the Milford, Connecticut market, which is a relatively small market, Milford, Connecticut. Uh, your, fa your FB fast funnel is the truth, man. Awesome stuff. So this worked um, for Pat very, very well. Uh, this is Mark. This is from a couple days ago. This is the agent in Michigan that I was telling you about. Him and I were working together for a couple weeks. He finally got it dialed in and over, uh, like I said, this past weekend. Uh, this, stuff, this really works and Adam has, been, has always been available. After helping me tweak my ads, I received seven leads in only two days. Thank you, Adam. Again, we, we got it dialed in and he generated those leads uh, over this past weekend. This is Arish, uh, agent out of Southern California. Uh, this was a Facebook conversation we were just having, as you can see, 12-1, uh, what was that, two, three days ago. I wish I met you before I started uh, competitor software here. I won't mention the name. I'm paying them 100 a month, and I don't get no one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, him, he needed uh, some kind of extra help, so him and I were kind of Facebook messaging, and I was kind of giving him some ideas on how he could use this other software uh, more effectively. Um, and he was, he was happy, and he said he's with the, this other company for, I think, a month. Hasn't spoke to anybody there. Uh, so I'm like, available to, I, I've talked to everybody on the phone multiple times, um, a majority of them multiple times, I should say, and then also through email, I'm always available. Dave is an agent in Rochester, New York. This is a comment he left in the Facebook group. Uh, I think it was like yesterday or the day before. Thanks for all the great help and support. I love this group. He actually is with another company as well, another real estate training, and he messaged me the first day and said, oh, I signed up for the dollar trial, but I'm already involved with such and such group. Um, I'll probably not extend my trial after the first after the seven days. That was like two and a half weeks ago. Um, and he's still a member. Uh, he loved the customer support. Uh, him and I have spoken on the phone a couple times. So I'm always available. John wrote something here, which I appreciate, John. No, I can't find it. Um, Yeah, I can't find it. John wrote something. John, John signed up. Actually, John, I think you were the first person to sign up. Um, but John and I uh, had, had multiple uh, phone calls, uh, emails over, over the last two, it's probably been pretty close to two months, I would say, month and a half or so. Um, okay, here's questions. Yeah, he said, Adam has been more than helpful so far. I've been signed up for about two months now. Okay, it is two months. Looking forward to 2015 and his marketing help. Um, so do you have any uh, questions? Chelsea, you said you just started in July, or you started in real estate, had been an agent since July 1st. Uh, how are things going? Anyone have any questions? Scott, I see uh, you're on here. Do, do you have any questions? I, I think you're in the Facebook group as well. I believe so. But yeah, Chelsea, join that Facebook group. Um, like I said, there's agents in there um, that, that have, uh, there's a couple ladies in there, 25, 15, 18, 11, 10, 10 years of experience. So they, um, they would absolutely help you out, uh, with, like I said, with the real estate part of the part of the business if you have any questions. And like I said, that's kind of the goal of the community is to get people helping people. I can do the marketing. I can answer the marketing questions, um, but the real estate questions I'm going to stay away from because that is not my area of expertise, the online marketing stuff. That's my area. So, um, so I'm going to stick with what I know. And then um, the other agents will be able to hopefully help you out with uh, what they know, their area of expertise. So does anyone have any questions? Or any additional questions, I should say?
Anybody have any additional questions? Well, I appreciate everyone. Um, yeah, absolutely, John. Sh uh, shoot me an email. Let me know. Um, let's schedule a call here. Um, let's schedule a call here soon. Let me let me know when you're available, and um, just go to socialsynergy.com forward slash three zero. You probably have the link for the call. Um, but yeah, happy to help and get you set up and generating leads. Um, let's set up that FB fast funnel. Like I said, that started a new campaign. Um, just, uh, I can't think of when I started it. On Saturday, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. I started a campaign on Saturday and are generating, I think it was 20 leads so far. Uh, it's the foreclosure one. It's in a small, very small market. The agent didn't even think we would, um, uh, it would work because it was such a small market. And uh, it's, like I said, it's only been five days and we have 20 I think last night I checked it was 19 or 20 leads. Um, so it is working uh, even in a very small market. Anyone have any other questions? Happy to help. If, if uh, you can't think of anything now, uh, please shoot me an email. Uh, you should have my email address. I'm happy to answer them. If you want to set up a call and I can answer any questions for you, um, I would be, I'm happy to do that as well. Well, I appreciate. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone for uh, coming out. I appreciate it. I know how I know how agents are. You guys' schedule is unbelievably crazy busy. I have no idea how you do it. I I, I couldn't do that. It's so demanding. You guys are. It's twenty four seven, seven days a week. Uh, so I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot that you spend the hour uh, hour with me. Hope you got some value out of it. Um, and go start uh, start automating your lead generation. If you need help, uh, I'm here to help. Uh, join the Facebook group. Facebook community, ask any questions you have, uh, shoot me an email. Like I said, if you want to set up a call, uh, I can answer any more specific questions. If, if you have specific questions on, I don't know, maybe you're, uh, a lot of agents, uh, their brokerage provides a CRM or an email uh, tool. So some agents say, well, can I use their tool? And that's absolutely, absolutely fine. That, that works. That doesn't bother me. Um, and some people have landing page software and they say, well, can I use their landing page software? And um, yeah, you can use that as well. Um, it, it's, it really doesn't matter. Um, the landing pages that we have are proven to convert. Um, I don't know how other landing pages are, uh, but I can tell you you can get anywhere from 15 to 30 percent uh, conversions with these landing pages, and we just kind of know that they they just work. So, um, but yeah, typically you can you can integrate just about any uh, email or CRM uh, tool. But yeah, if nobody has any questions, there's only four people that left, uh, or four people left here. So um, if you don't have any questions, um, I'll get off the call, let you get back to uh, selling homes, showing homes. And like I said, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm uh, here to help. All right, thank you.